I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find the relative maximum and minimum uh, values for a polynomial function uh, using the Desmos graphing calculator now. So I'm going to go ahead and graph the function y equals negative x to the third plus 16x second minus 76x plus 96 on the Desmos calculator. And you can see the relative maximum right about here. You can't quite see the relative minimum, so I'm just going to zoom out a bit until I can. Let's move it up a little bit. Now I can see both of those. And on Desmos, all you have to do is click on where you think the uh, relative maximum is, and it gives you the coordinates. There's your x and y coordinate. If you've watched my video of how to do that on the TI calculator, this is the same problem, and you should see very similar numbers. Um, as far as I know, Desmos automatically just rounds things off to three decimal places. I don't know of any way to make it show any more than that, so should you need more decimal places than that um, for a desired level of accuracy, you would kind of be out of luck. Um, same thing, just go ahead and click on the... <coughs> oh, excuse me. You just click on the minimum as well, and you can see the coordinates of it there, and the negative, or sorry, 3.569 something, and negative 16.901. That should look very similar to what you saw on the last uh, video. Again, if you watched that, much more user friendly. You don't have to do the left bound, right bound, and go in through all the menus and all that. But again, there are pros and cons to everything. Where this is easier here, this isn't something that you're going to be able to use on your ACT and may not be allowed to use in any college classes. So if you have a TI graphing calculator, it's definitely something worth getting uh, used to using. But this is definitely quicker and easier.